don't you? Yeah. Okay. So I, whatever it takes, it doesn't matter if it takes a thousand times and you do it this until you get it over his hip. You see where I'm standing? Yep. Okay. Yep. That's going to desensitize him. Okay. So you, it doesn't matter. Okay. You, the more you screw up, the worse you are at this, the better it is. Gotcha. Okay. So now I just sort of step back and let him come. Okay. And you have to, you hardly put any pressure on that at all. Okay. So now he's kind of got that down. You see how he came to me? Yep. Got through me. Okay. Now, I'm going to take this. Same thing on this side. I'm here holding this. Uh -huh. My elbow stops him from coming into me. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. So now I just slow this up there. I'm not pulling on this. Just wait in case he does. Okay. Just like that. I'm doing? Yeah. Okay. And like someone, usually, I've only had one horse where this didn't work, but when I go to put the saddle on after I've done this, uh -huh. I, before I do it, put the saddle on, <laughs> tell, I can get that saddle on just because they used to have rope in the Okay. So now I'm going to take and hold this and just go. See? And see how he's floating around in there? Yeah. Okay. So I can do that. And the same. This, yeah, I, I always throw my ropes up, okay, so they get used to that throwing it up. Yeah. Okay. But I can do the same thing here as I was doing before. And I'm just going to take his head and stand real close to him here. You see his foot's coming into me? Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to, if I don't have to worry about getting stepped on, like he's not really stepping into me. Right. Okay, I'm just going to hang out here and watch my foot and make sure it's there. Okay. Okay. There, he got soft on I mean? Yeah. It's not about him bending his head without moving his feet. Right. As much as it is that he's soft. You see what I'm saying? When he's doing it. Okay? Now, if you get him to bend his head without moving his feet, that's good too. It doesn't matter. Okay? But even now, see how he's yeah. less? Yeah. Okay? Um, and the more I do that, the, the backup gets better. See what I mean? Yep. So when I go to put my bridle on, on a horse the first time, right, this is how I do it every time, it doesn't matter, but even the first time. When I go to put my bridle on, I'm gonna, I come up like this, okay? Uh -huh. I hook this under his chin. Okay. You see how I did that? Yeah, yeah. My other hand comes up here, uh -huh. however I need to do it, okay? This goes here, like okay, that, okay? okay? Now, I don't pry his mouth open. All I do is find, I'm using a bit, I can feel that space in yeah, his teeth. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So I feel that space in his teeth, and I wait. You see his head coming down? Yeah. There, he started to work his mouth, and I stick with the bridle on. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. It's just taking the time to do it. But, but you can feel, you can feel that Space where their teeth meet. Okay, that's where you want to hold the bit. Okay, so you pull with your right hand, not push with your left. Okay. Okay. So when his mouth starts to work, all I gotta do is lift this up. I'll do it again. I'll show you. So as I come in here, see, I'm, I don't care where his head is. Gotcha. I actually prefer him to be right about here. Okay. Okay. Because I don't like their head being way down. Got you. Okay, but I'm finding that space in his teeth. There, he worked his mouth. See, I pulled up here. Got you. Okay. Okay. There. Okay, when I drop it. Yeah. Okay. Now, the other thing that I do a lot of times. The other thing I do a lot of times. I just hold that there, see? There. Guys, oh, okay. Now, let me see if I can get this on. I'll do it one more time. That rope halter makes a difference, doesn't it? As far as how tight it is. Well, I also had it short enough on it because you're just putting your tongue over it. Under it, whatever you want. Over it. Um, but I start, like I did with him the first time, with it longer than it needs to be. Okay. okay. So now I'm not so I'm not twisting his ears. Okay. So now I'm gonna start here again. Put my hand here. Again, I'm not 
not doing anything but waiting. We know what comes on me. Now I'm going to pick that up, pick that up. I'm going to put that over his ear. Okay? Okay. Now I'll tighten my chase back up. Okay? Yep. You see how I did that? Yeah. Okay. Now, a lot of I didn't do it with him on this time, but a lot of times what I'll do is loosen this all the way up like that. Okay? Uh-huh. And you can't spit it out, but see it's hitting the cheek? Yeah. So, I loosen this side all the way up. And then let him spit it out. See how he did that? Uh -huh. The reason I do that is I'm not part of it. So when, like you see horses do this, when yeah. they jump backwards, yeah. what they do is they get it hung on their bottom teeth. And they throw their head up. Okay. Okay. Now it's really hung on their bottom. Yeah. Feet. But if I don't have any part of that, they'll do what he did. I'm gonna try to spit it out, and they'll try to figure out how to spit it out instead of getting scared and throwing it up. If you're holding it, that's what's scaring. Okay. Okay. So even here with this, with this particular one, I can just put my hand here like this and just hold it. See. No matter where he goes, okay. get him to work it and then pick it up. You see what I'm saying? So now I just drop it and he spit it out. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So he's dropping his head to spit it out, right? Yeah. Now you can teach your horse to put their head down. It's fine. I don't care. It doesn't matter, okay? I like it right about where it is. So if it's a real tall horse, I'm going to lower it to where it is, okay? It's just easier for me to do it than it is to bend over and right. try to put your freaking bridle on. Um, now I'm going to show you something real quick about horses that throw their head up. Okay. Everybody wants to grab their horse's head when they're going to give a shot or whatever. Yeah. Can I see him pick his head up? Yeah. Okay. Watch what I do. Watch where his head goes. Start. Yeah, see, I'm going to pick this up. He might even try to run me over. Watch. Huh. See, they're all into pressure animals. So to me, I mean, as far as on the ground, pressure is pressure, whether you're pushing down on his pole or pushing, pulling up like that. But if we well, transfer to the saddle, it seems like that way is better. Well, I'm just showing you this as a trick. It's not really a trick. It's just I'm not teaching him to put his head down. I'm making it uncomfortable for him to put it up. Okay? So, there. See how he's yeah. doing that? Yeah. Okay. You, he is not learning to move away from pressure. Yeah. Okay? He's learning that when he puts his head up, the pressure increases. Okay. Okay? Okay. So, you probably heard that your whole life that they the move away from pressure yeah well, they move into pressure okay? okay you see what i'm saying yeah so i have to teach this horse to move away from pressure i don't teach a horse really to move away from pressure i teach them how to get rid of pressure yeah yeah okay, okay. yeah so if you're side passing a horse the first time a lot of times you go one direction and then when you go to go to the other direction they go that same direction that's because they got rid of the pressure by going that way. It has nothing to do with where you put the pressure on. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Uh, pleasure horses are taught to spur stop. You know what that is, right? They put spurs on them to stop. Oh, okay. The harder they squeeze with the legs, the slower they go. Okay. Okay. Well, that's the opposite of everything else. Yeah. But it doesn't matter to the horse. Yeah. Because when they horse slow down, they took their legs off. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So you're teaching that horse that. Whatever at the beginning you teach him is what you get, okay? So, when I ask him to back up, the reason I back him up, you see how I'm backing him up, I'm taking a hold of this here, now his nose comes down in his cheek, yeah. is because that's gonna simulate how I am when I'm on my back, okay? Yeah. See yeah. That, that pressure goes that direction on his nose? Uh huh. So, if you teach that horse that when you do that, he steps forward and you let the pressure off, you just taught him to go forward. It doesn't okay. matter yeah. what you think. Yeah. Okay. So again, there. You see how he starts back <laughs> yeah. up? Yeah. So he's 
starting to get ahead of what it is, so he's starting to learn. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. When he's coming into you and he's pushing on you, this is why I said he doesn't know, is when he's pushing on you coming into you and you put more pressure on him, his natural instinct to go into the pressure. So then he, the more you get mad or the more you get after him, the more he gets upset and goes into the pressure. So you're like fighting something that you're already learning, losing. Okay. He's, he's already started coming forward yeah, yeah. and you're getting more and more and more aggressive at him so he comes forward more okay okay so what so when i come in here now there see how he's backing away from me there? yeah yeah does that make sense yeah okay so that's what it is okay and it's just like if i step over here i'm teaching him to move away from me in body language but at first i got to teach him okay so i if I bump him there, okay, now I ask him to step away from me, he's away from me, okay, now get away from me, it doesn't matter, see what I'm saying? Yeah. Just get away from me, it doesn't matter that he didn't go that way, but that time he backed off, see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Because I actually, I'm not causing him to bring out any uh, adrenaline. I'm actually teaching him what I want him to do, okay? Okay. So when I push him, and I send him to go over this way, to go that way, to that way, he gets upset, okay? Yeah. See how he's blowing and he's upset? Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to ask him again. Now see, he, this is going, like I said, the first, he learned to go that way, okay? So that way it's easy for him, okay? Now when I go stop them, all I'm gonna do is help them stop. Okay. Now that's why he's getting closer. You see how upset he is? Now yeah. he's getting closer to yeah. you. Okay. Now I'm stepping over there. Let him go. Good. Now can you stop? Good. You see what I mean? It, it's it's he's actually thinking. See what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Also, I, I haven't done anything hardly. Here. See now he's like, he, see how he's starting to relax? Yeah, into it? licking and chewing. See? So, yeah. You, you see the difference? Yep. Okay. So, This is where I teach him to do that niceness does not mean weakness. Okay? Right. So I'm being nice to him. But that doesn't mean he gets to run me over. Okay? <laughs> you see what I'm doing? Okay? So. See how he dropped his head? Okay? Again, if I. If I want this horse to, if I want to teach this horse not to put his head up, then I can lift this up here like this. I feel, I feel pressure starting to go down. Okay? So here I'm just waiting. Uh, he's going to try to go 
forward, that ain't gonna work. Yeah. You take those yeah. out. Yeah. And I'll do that again. And I'm just barely putting any pressure here, but then I'm gonna keep as he as he goes up, I'm increasing pressure. Got ya. Right? Put that. Right? You see what I mean? Yep. Right there. See his head go down and back and then. Okay? Because all I did make that going up uncomfortable. Yeah. Okay. You want to try it on it? Yeah. You want to try it up. Now, if you slow it, try not to grab it. Okay. Right. Now, try not to grab it. Act like you're going to grab it, but don't grab it. Okay. Now, grab it. Good. Now, you want to grab the hole. Oh, okay. Not the lead. All the way up. Okay. Okay, quick. Okay, now put your hand there. Now, real quick. So you can get this where you want to be rolling it over touch it. Okay, now, quick. Get your hand up and slow. So your hand needs to be up here, like that. Oh, okay. Okay. So you're squeezing that slow. Okay. Now squeeze it. Bend your elbow. Sending him somewhere. Okay, send him. Okay, now lift that up if you want him to stop. No, stay off the halter. Lift it up. There we go. Okay, next time do it to your head. Send him around and lift it up with your hand. Send him around. Don't get so close. Okay, now lift up. Don't back up, by the way. Lift up. Lift straight up. Yeah, like that. Good. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, so when you're riding, you lift your rank. Okay. To stop. Right. You see what okay. I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. This is one of the reasons that he keeps doing what he's doing. You keep backing away from him. Oh. Okay. 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 Don't ever retreat. Okay. Okay. So now when you send him away, don't back up. Walk towards him. Okay. Walk towards him. Walk towards him. Swing that rope and make him move. Walk towards him, towards him, towards him. There, see him moving away? Yeah. Now lift and stop. There. Okay. Back him off. There, good. You see how you're teaching that or something now? Yeah. But if you're backing away from him, you're telling him to come to you. Anytime that you back up away from a horse, you're telling them to come to you. If I have a horse, a horse is hard to catch. If you've uh -huh. seen that do that, people do that before, right? Yeah. When yeah. they're out there in a round fence, yeah. they walk away from the horse when they finally turn to face it. They're inviting them in. Back, back. Back. Now, I'm gonna this is something else. Because what he is, he's completely distracted when you're pulling on yeah. his head. That freaking thing over there. Okay. <laughs> so when he's distracted. See how he, I got his attention? Yeah, yeah. I didn't even touch him. Now, so now back up. Back off me. There you go. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So when he, if he were to look.
took it, him over there, 